I try to live a wholesome life in nature, in alignment with my values, but sometimes I fail and hard. Sometimes, like you'll see today, in some ways I'm a hypocrite. And what am I talking about? Well, as you know, I use a henna to somewhat lighten my hair last video and it worked and I really love the slightly lighter look it gave. However, soon after I had this uncontrollable impulse to lighten it even further and before you know it, I'm bleaching my hair. I wrote a book about abandoning beauty duty, so doing this is definitely hypocritical and seemingly as punishment, my hair even broke from the chemicals. Anyway, I'm human with faults. I don't want you to think I'm perfect or beyond criticism. I have my weak points. Anyway, let's get on to this fresh day. Some of you were asking about how I make my own clothing. So here is a quick rundown. Saturday is my sewing day and this is just a pattern that I purchased and I'm cutting out around the pattern. I like to use this power uh, cutter. It's just, it feels way easier and more accurate. It's not always, but it is a pretty good device. Of course, you can just use a pair of scissors and cut out the pattern pieces like I have here. And then basically you sew them together. On this day, I'm actually making a top, which I'm going to show you soon, and also a pinafore dress. And I'm actually using a serger or overlocker and I just do the whole thing, the whole, all the garments on this machine and it works well. And I'm by no means an expert, that is for sure, but the more sewing that I do, the more pieces I create, the more, you know, the better I get. I don't know about you, but for me in general, I rarely find ready-made items to buy that I really love. So it's just so cool to make my own clothing, which is flattering and also meets my needs better. And sewing is just an awesome skill to learn as well. Honestly, most of the day that is my sewing day, I'm stuck to the chair. I really love it. It's quite addictive. And this is the first time I actually installed a zipper, which was yeah, a bit of a challenge, especially on a serger, but it turned out quite well. But I was kind of thrown aback by the amount of sentence that he received. And here is the end result. This is the pinafore dress. And I really love how it turned out. It, it really is it's beautiful and comfortable. And I chose really nice light fabric. So very happy with the way it turned out. And I've already yeah, been wearing it quite a bit. In our jungle here, we have a lot of bush tucker, as we call it in Australia. Generally native fruit that you would only eat in an absolute emergency. And this is Kwandong fruit. Let's give it a try. It's okay. It's okay. Every year we get more and more fruit from the land. It takes time, but it's well worth the wait for such high quality, nutrient dense health food that hasn't been poisoned by endosulfan or some other pesticide or herbicide or fungicide. This is soursop or guanabana and traditional herbal medicine. They use the fruit and the leaves to uh, relieve digestive ailments like diarrhea, um, hypertension, inflammation, fever, coughs, asthma, and even a lot of potential for cancer prevention. Whoa. 
Although we still buy some foods from the grocery store, we always joke that our pantry and supermarket is in the garden and the trees are keeping it fresh for us until we're ready to go shopping. It's, it's a pretty cool concept. The way it should be, right? Whoa. This one is like a full on tree. Oh my God. Wow. Awesome. Whoa. That is perfect, dude. Awesome. So Did, good. Didn't take out any seedlings. Snoopy. Here comes Tarzan. Whoa! <laughs> this one is heavy. Wow. Sorry, I should be helping with that one. <laughs> what a stunner. What a beauty. Yeah. It's very heavy. Yeah. Like a, it's, I think it's a dense banana. Or something. They're very fat. Look at that. Gosh. Yeah, this one's been like split and then munched on, I guess. Incredible. Look how beautiful it is. It's a really beautiful one. Something you obviously don't see in these videos is us walking around knackers, as we say in Australia, <laughs> without clothes. And that's my favorite outfit of all time. Nothing. It's obviously the most comfortable, especially in the tropics like this. It is so good. Mm. I think it's sweeter. Yeah. Still pretty good. Yeah. Surprise of the season. Mm. And this is the other top that I was making on the sewing machine. Added a little bit of green lace there. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. How big and beautiful is our pumpkin patch this year? It's just so inspiring and we've already pollinated a few. I'm gonna show you how to pollinate in a moment.
So this is chocolate fruit. This is actually where chocolate comes from. It's cacao and the seed is actually processed into chocolate. We don't eat it because it's a psychoactive stimulant, but we do eat the flesh around the seed. Honestly, this harvest of sweet potatoes and white potatoes was just, oh, just blew my mind, blew my mind, right? That you can actually grow all of these potatoes and sweet potatoes, obviously depending where you are living, but a lot of places and such variety and such great nutrition and organically. And it's just super, super exciting for me. It really is. And you can use some sweet potatoes in raw dishes. So that's worth exploring. I mean, I feel like I'm in Peru or something eating this variety of potatoes. I grew up with the plain orange variety only. Let me know in the comments below what you grew up with. And I thought this was it. I thought orange was the only one. But there is so much food hidden and kept from us. So keep searching, planting, growing, experimenting. It's really exciting. Most of this dinner is from our land and we often have days where 100% of our food for the day is from our garden. So subscribe and join us for the next video where I show you how to make this epic breadfruit pizza. By the way, I thought this was cool. This is a rare striped possum that we caught on our surveillance cameras. The possum is tearing at the bark of the tree and eating bugs. Okay, ciao for now.